Hi, my name's Dave, and I'm here to show you my design for a four-digit coded door lock entry system. Now, I've come across a couple of these before, but I've never actually seen how they work. All, all I've seen is basically like the panel that you can see in front of you, which allows you to enter the code. And below is where you actually set the code itself. Now, it has to be four numbers. You can actually enter the, enter the code in any order. However, we'll, we'll do it in order just to show how it works. Four, five, seven, nine. There we go. Four, five, seven, and nine. Now, if you've entered the code correctly, after a short while, the open close button will become active when the light above it switches on. There we go. And there you are, the door will now open. You can go through, and then you close the door behind you, and that door now becomes secure. It can't be open from the outside. And just to prove that to you, we'll go around, and there we go, press the button. Doesn't work, only if you enter the code. Now, We'll change the code just so it proves it works. We'll change it to one, three, eight, and zero. One, three, eight, and zero. And if we wait, the button will become active after a few seconds. I'll explain why it does that shortly. But there we go. Press the button. Door opens. Go through. Close the door behind you. It's now secure. And the only way to open it is using that button there. And out you go. And you use that button there to close the door behind you. And you're now secure. If you've entered the code incorrectly at any point, you know you've done it, you can reset. And then you can start all over again. Now, oops, <laughs> right, now to show you how it all works. Right, the levers activate a circuit underneath. It goes to a set of, red, um, set of blocks with redstone torches that are set up in a way, depending on whether they're activated or not, determines down which track a pulse will be sent, or basically the the circuit will be broken, and then we'll activate either the signal to the code system or the reset system. I'll demonstrate on one that isn't active. Here we go. So if we press that, the redstone torches would switch over. They'd obviously stay on if it was a continuous pulse. Uh, and that would determine which circuit can be broken and therefore which which redstone torch it flashes and sends sends the uh, the pulse off now this pulse goes down to its respective switch and what we've got here is a switch here goes through to the pulse shortener the signal comes back up to this track and i will replicate what happens using this button here and that will go through each signal will, prep, will switch on another set of switches on in turn and once the final one on down this orange track it will send a signal all the way along here it will send it will see show the lights on and therefore it will then activate this system which allows you to open and close the doors it is a bit messy it could be neater it could be more compact but it took me long enough to get to this and it's my first video um and this is probably my first sort of foray into something complicated um please be proud of it uh, the whole thing behind the panel is my design completely i have not copied anybody else all i've done is i've used what i've learned about minecraft switches pulse shorteners and previous knowledge of 
electronics and how a certain type of gate and nor NAND um, Boolean okay, equations work. Uh, and I finally came up with this plan. Took me a while to get there. You may be able to achieve it a different way. However, this now works. It's fairly simple, easy to replicate. And although it does take up a lot, lot of real estate, I think it's a pretty, pretty good little uh, addition to anybody's uh, Minecraft worlds. I'll come in here and reset the system. And there we are. Now, if you have any questions, I'll try and get back to you. But as I say, I'm, I'm new to all this. Um, I could do with tidying it up. But if you have any questions on how it all works, uh, please get back to me and I'll, and I'll do my best to answer you as quickly as possible. Many thanks. Bye-bye.